This video is all about my experience in the Carmel Art Festival this year. It's an up close personal account of what I did. It's not about the show so much, but about the experience that you may have when you compete. What you need is a strategy, a point of view, and a lot of persistence. I think you'll learn a lot from it. You'll get an idea of how I think about it, what I do, choices I make, how I improvise, and it's kind of a fun adventure. Day one at the Carmel Art Festival. It's all about getting out there and painting. The night before you go in and stamp your canvases, and then in the morning, as soon as you're ready, you get out there and paint. Hopefully you have picked out your locations in advance, which is what I did, and you have a strategy. Hey, I'm just getting started here down Pier 2 in Monterey. First day of the Carmel Art Festival. I don't think I'm going to be doing too many videos, but this is my setup. Sunny. Well, I'm only going to paint a couple of paintings, things that strike me as beautiful in their own right, whether or not they are traditional. For example, the building in the background is actually the uh, public restroom, but in combination with the beach, you'll see. It's All right, I just finished up my painting, and um, it's about three hours later than when I started. I was lucky enough, so I'm gonna go home and rest a little while and see if I can get out in the afternoon. I'm gonna just stand in the shade here for a little bit and chill out. I wanted to tell you why I chose that particular location. I was down here the other day. I thought the building is beautiful with the beach in the background and even though it was actually a, a public restroom, I thought, so what? You know, I wasn't really interested in painting traditional pretty pictures, but I thought it was a pretty picture. What I liked about it was that it, a lot of the values were similar. There's pink cement, there's gray cement, there's the color of the wall, the color of the sand. They're all very close in values. And then in the sky, the sky and the roof, very close in value. And I thought that was kind of really nice and the, just the blast of sun. When I saw that little girl walk out with her mother, I thought to myself, okay, that's what this picture's about. And uh, the architectural background and the, uh, the beach and the water that's actually secondary. So anyway, that's why I painted it. I didn't do a time lapse of it, but this is the first day of the Carmel Plain Air Festival. I will probably start a painting later this afternoon. I'll just start it and then finish it tomorrow because as long as I finish it on location, yeah, I think you can do that. I've done it before and it allows you to do actually a little bit more work on it and make it a nicer painting. I live in Monterey, so I'm able to actually go home and have a snack, take a nap, and uh, drink some water because it's very hot today. So I'll check in with you later. That's Monterey Bay in the background. A view of the a view of the bay in Monterey in the distance. I'm going to get up behind this water treatment plant in the background here and look over toward Monterey. So here I am in uh, Seaside, a little street that goes down to the water treatment facility, wastewater facility. It's just run off from the gutters. There's the bay and in the distance over there, Monterey drop it in something like that get the cars sparkling in the foreground get the water sparkling I'm up on top of a dune behind me is the highway it's highway one but you know this is a kind of a neat location I really like the subject matter it's unusual it's not your typical um, pretty picture but it's got some really pretty uh, aspects to it I think it can be very sparkly and appealing and I'm gonna give it a shot we'll see how it goes uh, it's late in the day it's about four o'clock 
I'm going to start the painting. I don't know if I will finish it today. I may very well start it, block it all in, get the values in as much as I can do, and then come back tomorrow afternoon and finish it, uh, thereby making it a true plein air painting. I won't do anything on it in the studio, but I can come back the second day and using uh, liquid medium to uh, make things wet again. So here we go. We'll see how it turns out. I feel like it's been a pretty good painting day. Uh, managed to get one done this morning. I think it's very successful. And this is the second one that I had been thinking about doing. And despite the traffic in the background and everything, I managed to work on this and have a little bit of fun. Like I said, the wind's picking up right now, and so I'm wrapping it up, and I will do something else in the morning and then come back here in the afternoon and finish this one up. Weather permitting. <laughs> you never know. But, you know, if it's cloudy tomorrow, I'll just come back out here and finish it anyway because I know exactly how it ends. The sun on the water over there and a big bright sun in the sky and I like what's happened so far here. Just got to get the sun. Day two at the Carmel Art Festival. Day two is more of the same. Make sure you've got a strategy. You really need to think about what you're doing in advance. Try to have a location. It's better than driving around aimlessly, which I've seen lots of people do and which I have done myself in the past. Try to decide in advance where you're going to paint. So here it is, the morning of day two, and I'm set up in a parking space on Pier 2 in Monterey. I know it doesn't look like a, a pier, but looks like a road, but that's actually on the pier, and that's Lulu's. Take a look at how I'm set up behind my car here. In the space behind the car, I have a little story to tell you about this setup later. Wow. Well, if that wasn't crazy, I don't know what is. So I'm painting Lulu's and I'm set up behind my car. Absolutely no problem. I'm not in anybody's way and this drunk guy backs in to the space next to me and his front tire actually hits the back leg of my easel. And I yelled at him. He didn't knock it over, but I, I yelled at him and he stopped and then he backed for, forward and you know, finished parking. And you would think he would come over and say, hey man, are you okay? No. He didn't bother to come over and say anything. So, I thought that's just, uh, that's a rude guy. So I just let it go. And anyway, I was just packing up everything right now here on Pier 2 and uh, go to pack up my easel. I see the back leg of the easel, just the tip of the back leg is broken off. The actual wood is broken off, snapped off. Back here at the water treatment facility, the painting that I started yesterday afternoon. And uh, with my plan all along was to come back here and finish the painting that I started yesterday. Of course, things change, and uh, as usual. So, what we have is, I'm here early. I'm really earlier than I wanted to be. I wanted to be, oh, maybe around six o'clock. It's around four o'clock right now. So, I'm gonna do the best I can, but the thing that's really a problem is that it's very windy. And in so, instead of setting up in the, place that I set up before which was up on this hill behind me you remember the traffic going by well I can't hear the traffic now which is awesome uh, and I'm just down at the bottom of that dune basically the same view I'm just at a lower angle and uh, I'm out of the major wind but it's still windy enough that I can't put my umbrella up the problem with that is that it means that my palette 
is in full sun. I'll try to mix my colors in the shade there. That's the best I can do. So we'll see how it goes. I'll paint here, finish it up as fast as I can, and uh, get back to the studio and frame everything up and take everything over to Carmel. It's been an interesting day. Always one thing or another, and uh, God knows what will happen while I'm out here. I expect rattlesnakes or park rangers, I don't know. All right, I'll talk to you later. What I really liked about this competition, I've done a bunch of competitions, but what I really liked about this competition was that I approached it with a different strategy. My idea was, I don't care if I win, I don't care if I sell. So I think the painting worked out good. This is what I was hoping for. It wasn't too windy. It's going to be this one and the little girl on the beach. I want to paint the things that I want to paint. I don't want to think about trying to fit myself into some pattern of pretty pictures that everybody wants to see. I don't care. I painted the ones that I wanted to see. And it made me relax and just be myself and go for the things that I believed in. And I think that was a good strategy. A little bit later we've come back to Carmel and hung our paintings in our designated space. Hang around, talk to the crowd, and then go home and we'll come back tomorrow. It's really nice to be done with all of your work and sit back and just relax. The most important thing to remember is that these competitions and the awards are not that important. Yes, it's nice to get a ribbon, it's nice to get a little bit of money, but after all, they're usually the opinion of one person. First is best of or best by a local artist. That's Robert Lewis, a day at the day at Del Monte Beach. I'm at the Monterey Harbor, by the way. Beautiful day. Monterey is gorgeous. It's always gorgeous. For those artists who won ribbons during the competition, there's a quick draw on Sunday morning, so I'm standing here with all of my friends to get my canvas stamped. And hey, there's Murray in the background. Murray picked me up this morning in his truck and drove me over to Carmel, and we're going to paint together in a location that he chose. Here we are at the quick draw, Murray Wagner and I. Quick draw, big brush. <laughs> Using my small rig today for the quick draw. We'll be wrapping it up in a few minutes. One of the nice things about painting plain air is that children are always interested. This little girl was hanging around and I noticed that she had something behind her back that looked like a canvas. I said, are you an artist? And she pulled this painting out and showed me. I think she nailed it.
So back at the park in Carmel, everybody brings their paintings, sets up their easels, and puts their painting framed on the easel. Everybody stands around and looks at the paintings. Today was a particularly beautiful day, very sunny and nice. And it was really nice to see everybody. It's really fun to see. This is the quick draw, and so all of these people won uh, a ribbon of one sort or another, from honorable mention all the way up to first place. And, as in my case, best local. So this goes on for a little while. Crowd mulling around. There's a silent auction. People are writing down their bids on a piece of paper next to the painting. And uh, then a judge picks the winner of the quick draw. It's kind of nice because it's the end of all the work that you've done. It feels pretty good to just stand around in the sun. After we're done here, if our painting has a soul, we take it over and hang it up on the wall with the rest of the paintings. Quarter to three Sunday afternoon. I am two minutes ago. I was sound asleep on the couch in the living room. But it's time to get back over to Carmel. Festival closes in about ten minutes, and I can pick up my paintings and pack them up. Come on home and rest after a pretty successful time of it. It was fun to paint. I had a lot of fun painting. And the quick draw today with Murray it was great. He picked me up in the morning. We got over there. He picked out the spot. And I said, that's a great spot. So we went to it. Painted there very fast. And um, I'm sure that I have not sold any paintings. And my strategy was, I don't care if I win. I don't care if I sell. And what do you know? I won something. And I didn't sell anything, so I don't care. Here's the thing about these plein air competitions. You gotta remember one thing. A great artist might really have a bad day painting, and a mediocre artist might have a great day painting. In the end, it's really the opinion of probably just one person, the judge. So, well, what does it matter? What's important is that you are painting for yourself and you're painting what you want to paint. Don't worry about a winning. Don't worry about winning. Don't worry about selling. Those things are not important. What's important is you paint well and you paint well for yourself. So I hope that uh, you learn something about what it feels like to compete in a plein air competition. It's really a lot of fun if you got the right attitude, you got a good strategy. Don't expect too much. Do your best work. Don't worry about the outcome. If you do your best work, you'll have a good painting. You'll be proud of it. It doesn't matter whether you win. It doesn't matter whether you sell. That's not what it's about. Remember, life is short. Get out there. This is my support system right here, my very best support system, without whom I couldn't get through, <laughs> who helped me with everything. You're <laughs> worth it. Ain't it the truth? Because you are the, um, what is it, the, 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 oh I can't think best of it Best local artist. The best local artist. For God's sake. <laughs>